Okay. All right, so we are right. now recording with the camera. What? What's Dad doing? Playing with the light. All right, camera's going on. Hey, we're going live. We're recording right now, Dad, so. All right. Yeah. Three, two, starting live. We're on, We're live right now? Trying to hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing with my battery. All right, you're live. Good morning, everyone on Facebook. Good and, morning. Good morning. And uh, maybe good evening to the people on YouTube whenever this gets posted. So we are live, and we have an honored guest who is front and center. This is... Hi, guys. Ryan, I'm the grandson and son. That's amazing how. Amy Lou. About 50 some years ago, I got a router. 50, 60 years ago, I bought a router and started playing around carbon signs, and this is what happens. Be careful. I thought he was going to go a different direction. So, you know, her mother, his mother, be careful what you wish for. It might come true. <laughs> I thought he, I thought you were going to go. Yeah, his mother and grandmother, you know, back uh, about fifty-seven years ago. I, I, no, Dad. I don't sound like that. <laughs> the back of a Chevy kind of thing. I just didn't want to go there. Good morning, everyone. So we are uh, we're kind of letting people people coming on. Yeah. So we got people chiming in already. Yeah, I, that's what that's my, what my wife it's says. It's nine o'clock in Arizona. Okay, so um, welcome. We are going to uh, do some stuff here. We're going to just talk for a minute or so for anybody that hasn't been on what we call our LTS. This is our live training session. Um, we're going to be doing some, uh, uh, at least two demos, maybe a third, depending on time. Jamie Halsey Gunter. Jamie. Holy. Hi, Jamie. Give all, give our love to the the Halsey clan over there and Gunter clan. Um, wow, that's that's cool. Love the, those people. Um, anyway, so we're going to do at least two demos, maybe three demos, depending on what time is. We definitely want to save some time at the end. We're going to do our drawing for our giveaway for our premium members, uh, and so we're going to do that. And then we want to do a Q and A. So if you guys have questions. Um, do you want them to, to answer, ask their questions, like start typing them now no. or later on? There's, I yeah. can't keep them. Yeah, so um, probably... Uh, Mark Dugan from Wales. Mark? We, if we have time, we're going to do the Q&A at the yeah. end. Yeah, we'll have time. Yeah, yeah I think we'll have time. <laughs> you know, Vicky's going to give us a, uh, a cue when we're going to start that. But okay. uh, we'll do that after the <clears throat> giveaway to the premium British members. Columbia. So I'm not sure whether we'll get into the third demo. It just depends on, on how it goes. Um, so you tell us when you want us to kind of, when we've got people in there. We'll give it another, another few another minutes. Another 30 seconds or so. All right, so Ryan, give us your story. How'd you get into this sign carbon thing? <laughs> yeah, uh, tell, the, tell the family. Yeah, 30 secret. seconds. Uh, I grew up with a router in my hand and then didn't want to do it anymore. And uh, For what, like a week or two? Or for like, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I always try to start little small businesses, finding some side way to make money legally. And uh, uh, <laughs> then one day I called dad and said, can you send me a router? And he sent me some stuff. And, After uh, I got up off of the floor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I woke he, up. he said, uh, are you serious? I said, yeah. <laughs> so he sent me a box of stuff and I just started in my it garage. It was more like a pallet. It was, yeah, it was a bunch they, of stuff, yeah. Yeah, having uh, celebrity parents and grandparents has its perks. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I've been doing it for eight months, six, eight months, yeah. something like that. And I have a display in Elite Arms in Manteca, uh, is, California. Which it's is, a gun yeah. shop. Uh, Elite Arms, that sounds like a hotel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, Here uh, we go. But, yeah, um, we've done a few shows and stuff, just taking our time and, and uh, my wife and daughter help out so and old tradition signs that's that's what I called it because it's an old tradition um, but yeah that's it all right my story so, stick to this it is my story and I'm sticking to it yes yeah. <laughs> okay so announcement about the remember remind about the giveaway yes Dave? yeah 
So, Dad, you want to bring it? So we're going to do, in about a half hour or so, we're going to be doing a giveaway to one of our premium members. Hi, Diana. Um, and uh, this is uh, the, the giveaway deal here. Is that, is that showing up good in that I, box? I can't tell, but oh. it looks like it. So, yeah. hold on. So, again, this is the... We'll be doing a drawing. Drawing for the premium, premium members. members. Premium, premium members, We yes. put it in the box so you can see the light flash in there. Yeah. What? We put it in the box so they can oh, see it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to put it away. Amy yeah. Lewis says, good morning, boys. Morning, babe. Morning, Amy. Okay, <laughs> so, um, if you guys, uh, if you guys are tuned in here, let's get, let's get going on this demo. Are we good to go on the demo, babe? Yep. Okay, so, first of all, we're kind of kind of redo a video Sorry, that we Brad. that Sorry, Brad and Diana. Hey, Australia. Brad and Diana. We did a video. Dad actually did a video demo a couple of years. It's been two or three years ago where we were doing. <laughs> can you know, like one yeah, I don't know. It was a long time ago. <laughs> where you know, guys, this is one of the styles of signs that we've made forever. And he did a demo where he actually carved a line in here. It's it's. If you want to go back and watch it, it's video one oh seven. Uh, but when he did, so we're going to kind of redo that right now. And the reason we're going to redo it is because the bit that he was using on there was a big half inch V groove bit. And um, I've had questions saying, well, I can't replicate what Dave did because it cut a super wide line and I just have just quarter inch bits, like one of our quarter inch bits are 60 degree. So we're going to show you how you can actually fix that. So Ryan's going to do the carving and me and dad are going to be doing the teaching. So instructions. I'm gonna, instructions. So I'm going to hand this over to Dad, and okay. uh, and uh, he's going to take it from there. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to draw the lines. Ryan's going to do the carving, and I'm going to draw the lines, and I'm going to show him. I, he knows how to do it, but I'm going to show him as if he didn't know how to do it. So starting right from the start, so that <clears throat> any of our viewers that want to learn exactly like if you were sitting here. Uh, it'll be just the same, so. Uh, you should be standing? Yeah, there's a pencil. Yeah, uh, a pencil. Yeah. Normally I have a pencil on my hat. Huh? That pencil is pretty jacked yeah, up. Right? No, it's good enough. It's good. Okay. It's got the lead showing. That's all I care about. All right, let's so, stand up. Let, let's, let's do it up here. So, uh, are we here on the camera? So to begin with, see, this has got a, a chamfer on it. And all I do is I bring the router bit in and I blend it in with that chamfer. And I just come and I make a circle. And I come and blend back in with the chamfer so that there's just a, a circle on the board here. And then after I do that, I come back in, same bit, same time. I come back in and I bring a line down and I sort of make a loop in it. And I bring it down to where it blends in down here. So that the main thing when you're doing this, the main thing to do to remember is you want to leave this little hook. It just makes it because once it's once the line is in there, that little hook makes it look like this is just an extension of a ribbon. That's what this is, is a ribbon sign. To, to emulate the fact that this part is folded like back behind. Exactly. Right? That's, That's what that line shows. It gives shows. you that visual effect. So again, I'll draw a I'll draw the line coming in and blending in with the chamfer that's already there and just coming around and making a loop in it like that and then come right back in and draw it come down and just just sort of sort of make a, a kind of a curve in there it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to be exactly the same but the again make sure that you leave that little hook when you're carving. So those are the lines that Ryan will follow when he's uh, when he's getting ready to carve. So that's that's what we're you got your water ready? Yeah. 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 The rigid, right? Yep, the rigid. Okay, he's gonna be sitting down and I'm I'm gonna be standing up here, kind of watching over his shoulder. Okay, to so see what, what he's doing. We gotta show the bit oh, yeah, that okay. we're using. Oh so it's show it to sixty degree. Um turn it just nope. Put it down on, on the board. On the board? This on the way? Board. No. 
Babe, help him. Help me out here. <laughs> we so just we wanted to be able bit. to get in. Oh, and I got you. Hi, Dan. Okay. Okay. We're All good. Right, sit now. Can you now, sit? Hold on. Ryan, Ryan doesn't see what we do yeah, all the time. I'm not a video yeah. guy. It's not my <laughs> thing. Okay. All right. So that's our our standard 60 degree V groove. All right. Which one are you going to switch end? Are you going to start on? I'll start on the okay. left end. You're right. Now let me let you. There's a little pressure here. Okay. <laughs> I got. How Spielberg. many people we got watching? <laughs> uh, 54. Oh, all right. Well, that's not all too right. bad. Yeah. You got Spielberg. That would yeah, be Yeah, Spielberg over there, and then these two. All right. So. No give pressure. A shot. You can You just want to make sure when you're doing it that uh, that you take that middle piece out because you don't want that be you want that all black. You don't want a high spot there. It's good. Yeah, okay. that's good. You can see you've got a little bit of bobble there, and and Hold if you so wanted to, you could straighten that out. But I mean, it looks fine just the way it is. So now, grab that bigger uh, ribbon board down there. So this one is the bigger version. This is the the 24 inch version, so we want to do the Mark same thing. Mark Stolling says Ryan has Eric sausage fingers. You should see Dave. <laughs> yeah, oh, we all get it from one right, person. Boy, put your hands down there. Put your, all your all these. Look at these oh. fingers. Wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta do the both yeah, fingers. And then there's Frank and Thumb. There's Frank and Thumb. <laughs> Stubby fingers and Frank and Thumb. And that's yeah. Ryan and that's Eric. They're like they're like triple sausages. Okay, there. They're more than one way that they all look alike. They got, they got the nubbins also. Oh man, that's funny. All right, so now uh, what I want to yeah, what I want to show Dad is is uh, if you can draw the lines or have Ryan draw the I don't care, but we want to show how we're going to make that line thicker, like like it was in that uh, video 107. Again, all all you do is just. Now, even even when I was doing hundreds of these, I mean a lot of them, I always drew a line. I could make a pattern and spray these, but it's not really necessary. It's because once you do these, once you do a dozen of them, you can do a thousand of them. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Yet. Okay. Now, right. what he'll do here is when he makes this line and comes down, this will be just a quarter inch thick because he's using a quarter inch bit. But if you want a wider line, then he'll just come and blend that in one way or the other. He'll blend that in and just make two passes to make a wider line. All right. Got that? Yep. All right. This is redwood, by the way. That other board he was cutting was cedar. This is actually a piece of Bear redwood. with me, guys. I got two cameras going here, so. Okay. okay. You see the bit again? And again, no, they don't we're... See that working with two cameras so if we if we're looking back and forth it, the reason is we're looking at both well, cameras nobody can see you looking yet but they will <laughs> all right son is that where you're going to carve the sign yeah you're going to move it okay no we're good are you good i'm good okay <laughs> all right here we go Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, all he's doing now is he's going next to his first cut. 
second pass and just made that line wider so if you like it the way it looks hey boys. you know with one I can keep up with one of you but not two of you all right so you want me to just keep no, it right just, there yeah keep it so right he there. just he just took a second pass alongside that one pass and just made this a wider line this is the narrow one this is the wide but either one looks good would, would look just fine yeah, if you don't want to make the wider line it's just uh, this Plain, first plain line is fine. But th this is probably about equal to what you did with that half with inch, half inch uh, back on, on video 107. Right. Right. All right. So, so yeah, go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and make that wider. Good I just enough. wanted to point yeah. that out. Now, here's a question. Yeah. Does it matter if I, which side I come in? Because, Grandpa, I know you said to leave that hook there. Yeah, so leave I'd that hook. So I want to go on the right-hand yeah, side, right? Do it, on the, do it on the outside. As long as you leave that hook, that's the main thing. Okay. And if, if you happen to come in and take that hook out, then you can come back and blend it here and drop down a little bit. You more. just make that bigger. You yeah. Make that hook bigger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. Nice thing about working with wood like this is you can make tiny mistakes, make small mistakes, and just go back in and clean up and and correct them. Well, especially when you're doing something that's artwork related or something like this, it is 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 kind of a flowing line yeah. anyway. If you're doing really straight lines on letters, well, you don't have that much yeah. that much uh, leeway. <laughs> Sorry, we're we making got, Ryan dizzy. He's just looking back <laughs> and forth like <laughs> we're making fire. <laughs> All right, ready? We're yeah. <laughs> Now, now what you'll eventually what you'll do is see this see how you've got your chamfer here and how this kind of drops down what you'll do eventually is you'll get to the point where you just kind of blend that in okay. and make that more of a smooth transition there see how that kind of blends that in but i mean this is what the first one you've ever done i mean i like this to be rounded i like that a little bit of a round look that's what Dad always made a mistake. He never did that. Right? Yeah. It's the way he taught me. Actually, he just forgot. But anyway, well, you see how like that sixty years ago. See how that kind of kind of rolls in and blends in, and then this has kind of a blend to it. Yeah. But you know, somebody wants to know how you know all those video numbers off the top of your head. I looked it up before I got on film. I, I just had to research uh, it. Deborah Oceanbine uh, wants to know the depth of the bit while you're doing that. Yeah, Any well, idea? pull out the depth bit uh, bit. Depth router gauge, bit depth uh, router bit depth gauge. Yep. All right. Let's find out how deep it is. Uh, it's not quite a quarter of an inch. Well, it is really yeah, right. Just, yeah, yeah. just a hair less than a quarter of an inch. So but, for all intents and purposes, it's a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Yes, Toby. It's a sixty-degree router bit. Okay. You want to know? Somebody was asking, how do I know what uh, what video? That was because I used the channel search and I typed in, when that box came up, I typed in line ribbon because I knew that that was in the title of the video that you did. And as soon as I did that, boom, 107 came up and that's the video I so wanted. So what he's saying is he's prepared for the, when he's on video, he knows what he's going to cover, he knows which video, and he finds them through there. But you have right. to do it on... You mean this is all planned? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to do it on the computer. Stress. Yeah, you, that doesn't work on a, on a phone, No, because right? I tried it on the phone, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to do that on a PC. At least not on my phone. 
Yeah, I, and it doesn't on my iPhone either. You have to do that on a PC. But that channel search is really handy. So if you guys are looking for a video on outset letters or inset letters or scalloping or or transfer process or whatever or diamond wheels, but there's not a, if there's not a playlist on it, then use this channel search. So the first thing you is go is go playlist. And if there's not a playlist on the the subject that you're looking for, then click on that little. Uh, magnifier and the box will come up and just type in what you're looking for and chances are it'll it'll come up so that's part of our live training session yes okay. you have to do one more thing. we'll do one more demo all right so now we're gonna take this same idea of, of the wide lines on this and what we're gonna do on our second demo is we are going to do big inset letters so, uh, matter of fact, I was with uh, one of our one of our uh, students uh, a few days ago, and they said, "Well, I can't do big inset letters because I don't have a big bit." Well, the same rule applies, you guys. So let's just—we uh, don't need th these. By the way, these are four-inch pointedly mad. They're on the website. In, in case you guys didn't know, our layout letters—we have them from literally from half inch up to six inch. They're all on the website. Uh, make a wood sign if you guys need large layout letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spray this. Real, I know. I'm sorry. I'm good. You're I'm messing me up there. Well, this video, uh, the re one you're going to post online, yeah, can be very bouncy. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. We're like with three of us in here, kind of. So there's our layout. And what Ryan's going to do is he's going to carve that layout letter or that letter inset with that same bit. With that 60 degree bit. That just came in 60 degree bit. So yeah, 60 degree V groove bit. That's the one that we use on almost all inset letters. Now this big a letter or bigger, you could do with the 90 degree, but in this particular instance, we're going to do the detail on it with the 60 degree. I was going to say the 90 degree won't get in the corners. It wouldn't well, get in right? those those real tight corners. Yeah. You're right. Whereas the 60 will. Um, the, pro, the profile bit would do it as well. The profile bit. You could do it with yeah. a profile bit and, and the 90. Clean up with yeah. the 90. But the thing about the profile bit, unless you were going deep enough, you might want to make two passes because it wouldn't give you uh, a whole lot of room. You might nick the edge of the letter with the 90 when you come in and do the 90. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you might want to take it pretty deep with the profile bit or probably Dave. quarter inch. Dave. So that Dave. is just about... You want me to take that? That's dry enough now. All you right. Can, can carve that back Rolling back. up my sleeves, everybody. He's getting getting busy. Yeah. He's gonna get busy. Me and Dad are gonna go your, get. Uh, yeah, I will. Me and Dad are gonna go get matching tattoos sound. after this. Yes. Are we? Yeah. Video and sound is awesome. Great job. Ah, <laughs> cool. And you know what? A big, big, huge shout out to Mr. Dan Yotis in uh, New York. He's the one that helped me and, and we worked, he was actually on, on the phone with me for like two hours the other day, helping us boost our signal out here. So Dan, thank you so much, my friend. I owe you a dinner when you come to Vegas next yes. week. Yeah, we year. bought a new router that's not router for wood, but it's a router for, uh, for boosting our signal. And so extenders. A kind of router. Yeah, and uh, so fortunately, knock on wood, it's holding up so far. We won't need this anymore. All right, Ryan. Ready? Do your thing, man. Yeah. Go get them. And you want the cord facing me, right, Mom? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And please don't move the board. <laughs> now, if it's set too deep, we can we can pull that up a little bit and uh, make it not quite as deep. Not for that size letter. A quarter inch would be about. Well, right. as long as he can get into the yeah. into the area. Into there you the, go. This is how I grew You're up. You're gonna end up this with is, it. <laughs> this is how I grew up. You're gonna get a crick in yeah. your neck. <laughs> <laughs> what dad say? What grandpa says? I usually go by age, so I listen to grandpa. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very smart boy. That widget cuts pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it, does. it actually is a pretty nice little router. I don't like the the depth setting mechanism, but other than that, I like the way it cuts. The pine is nice too. The pine is nice and consistent, yeah. That's 
kid getting to be a pretty good sign drummer. Yeah, he's holding a good line. Yeah. Except for when I hit the core with the bill of my hat. Oh, yeah, don't do that. a question why did Me? you why yes why did you carve it the way you did honestly I just feel a little pressure <laughs> so I just because I know my biggest challenge is at the top of anything going from left to right that's always my biggest challenge and why is that because I can't see the line as well and I'm trying not to flip the, the sign around especially because the director told me not to <laughs> but it, it, if you were at home would you have done that? Would you have flipped that around to cut those so you could see on that side there's, of the router? There's bit? only the only time I've done that in a while has been the American flag, because that was going to you know as a, a display. Yeah. And those lines are, are so prominent. You yeah. know what I mean? So um, I try not to, but on on some of them I do. So, but I I saw that you know, and I I know you noticed this too, Dad. You did a lot of carving, pulling the router to yourself. Rather than pull, you know, yeah. I mean, everything was pulling toward you. Yeah. Do you find that easier? For me, that's easier. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's uh, that's absolutely the right answer. That that's that's the way I started. I got after a while where I could push away just as easily and and to hold a line just as easily. But when I was first starting, the first year or so, that's exactly how I yeah. did it. And I'm doing more like this line. I, I pushed away. Yeah. And that turned out all right. I'm doing more of it, but not yeah. yet. I got to fix this. It's easier and when you're first starting out. It's easier if you're doing most of your carving where you're pulling the router towards you. You have better view of it. You have better control of it. So After you do it. that enough, huh? It, it won't really matter. You can go in any direction. Yeah. Right. I gotta fix this little. Yeah. I. I that was, guess that's you're just like your dad. Yeah. I can't stand it. I gotta fix this. Attractive and intelligent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, the whole purpose of this was to show that you can do a, a bigger letter with a smaller bit. Now, are you going to go back and do the, the it, clean up the inside just like you I, would if it was an outside letter? For, Yes, he, he here's here's the thing guys. So he could go back in right now and clean all of that out with any with several different bits. If you like a flat bottom, you can go in there with the spiral upcut and cut all that flat. He could go in and do it with the 60. However, uh, he's going to do it with the 90 degree bit and the reason being is there's a lot of meat there. And if he was to do it with the 60, he'd have to make much smaller circles, otherwise he'd end up with a lot of high spots. But with the 90, the, and the 90 is set at about a quarter of an inch, the 90 he can make his, his, his circles a little looser, a little bigger, yeah. so that and, and still not have any high spots. So he's got to go back with the 90 degree bit and do the background or, you know, the get the leftover meat inside of that inset letter. John posted 
I know John. Yeah, he, new guy. He says, yeah. I'm new to this, so I have a thousand questions. <laughs> Hold them. We'll get to them in about 10 minutes. Yeah, we're almost there, John. Hang on, uh, buddy. Another reason I like using the 90 is because when I've done clean out with a 60, it just, it looks, it doesn't look as crisp to me. Yeah. I think it looks a lot nicer with the 90. That's just me. But. Well, and it, but it depends too on how much room you've got. If you've got, if they're really, really tight areas, yeah. Sometimes I'll do the background, uh, like, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll do the background sometimes, like I, that flag that I carved yeah. a, a couple weeks ago. That flag had some really tight spots, so I actually did the background with the 60 if I just don't, I, I want to make sure I don't hit it with the edge of the, the right. 90. So, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, ready, Mom? Yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> Throwing sawdust a lot more. Oh, a whole lot more than I'm used to. Yeah, it yeah. could be that the other way it would throw it, uh, throw I, it out. Yeah. So what did you, uh, Dad? Would you hand him that stiff pencil brush down there? Right there by his knee. No. So what did you notice about that, Dad? What's your comments on well, what he did? He was doing it in two different directions. <laughs> uh, that was. Did that you was, notice? Yeah. Because you go yeah. most of the time you're going clockwise. Yeah, most of the time when I'm doing it, I'm I'm using the router, doing the router clockwise. Now he started clockwise and then he was doing counterclockwise. In, in uh, a couple little spots there. A couple of spots. It doesn't really matter whatever whatever is comfortable to you or to the, to the carver. Yeah. But I always do it in one direction no matter where I go. And, I, and that's the first if, thing I noticed if I, too. If I had been coming through here, I would have been making small circles rather than, than straight through. I would, have, I would have made the little bit of a dimple so that and here, all of it. And, and I noticed that too, so let me show you. Let me show you, because I used to do that, but let me show you what I do now. So let's just assume that you hadn't gone through there. What you can do is just do this. Yeah, exactly. That leaves that little, that little oh, I got you. dimple or ripple effect. So if you don't have room, if you don't have room to do a to do a circle, you can do that and it can, it kind of blends in with the rest of it. Okay. I kind of there you go. Up there. I kind of wow. You got sawdust. I know. That's what I'm it's saying. The, it's the yeah, it's the uh, static electricity too. Yeah. We're in that type th that oh, yeah. part of the year where there's a lot of static yeah, electricity. Yeah. Don't don't touch something without tapping it first. Yeah. I saw that when I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Was, it hurt. Uh, <laughs> Not going to the oh, bathroom. Thank you. No. Thank you for that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That yeah, I'm, I'm, that's I'm like something your grandpa. Did. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, there we go. It runs um, in the family. Well, somebody but just left. It, it, it skips a generation. You know, I didn't say. That. Oh no. Uh, that is. Dad's a lot cleaner on camera. Anyway, that was great. All right. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, the, the whole por the whole purpose was that you can do big oh. inset letters with with your regular quarter inch bits that you're doing small inset letters. Yeah, you don't need you don't need bigger bits for bigger letters. You yeah. do it all with the same letter with the same bit. And once it's it's sprayed and it's it's sanded off, it it just it looks really. Nice. I think it looks. I it, think looks it looks really great. cool. You did a really good job on that, Ryan. You're holding a heck of a line. That's I, that's impressive. Uh, thanks, Jeff. I don't think I could have done any better. Martin I agree. Too much information. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, Ryan and I are going to get out of the way. Dad, you're going to do the uh, the giveaway. Oh. Okay. So we'll stand to the side and we'll, you know. Oh shoot! We still had a heater going the whole time. Yeah. That's why I take my vest off. It was a little warm. Well, the pressure probably didn't. Yeah, yeah. 
Nice. What would you son. know? Yeah, that looks, that looks really nice. Okay, I like that. are still on Pump. camera. Yeah. They make them really good, really nice. The big inset letters like that look really cool. Well, that's like the, the Berryland one I did with the Western yeah. letter. Yeah. yeah I, I think it looks pretty cool. Are we still on the camera? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be for the giveaway for this light. For this night light that I made up that says, Sawdust makes me happy. And this is a premium member giveaway. This is premium members only. So if you're a premium member, what? listen up. It's a, For those of that don't know, what's a premium member? Premium member is somebody that subscribes for a premium membership. And for premium members, you get free router bit sharpening. Uh, you get a lot of extra perks. You get an extra 5% discount on all products that you buy from us. Uh, whether it's something we make or something that, that's on our website, you get an extra 5% discount. Uh, and then you get to get involved in giveaways. We're, every time we do an LTS, we're going to have some sort of a giveaway that we give away to, to premium members only. And they get a template of the month, right? And a template of the month, yeah. That's another thing. Every time we de de devise or design a new template, Vicki does uh, a lot of the template designs, <clears throat> premium members... Along with their order for the month, they get uh, they don't get it sent out automatically. Right? There necessarily needs to be an order, but their order will include a free template of the month. So here right. we go. I'm uh oh, for the last one. one. That one just popped out, and that ain't going to be it. I'm going to go in and mix it up and draw one out. Are we ready, Vic? I'm ready. Okay, I've got a I've got a ticket here, and the number is. One somebody in the U.S. Seven, <laughs> one, <laughs> one seventy-one. Now, Vicky has a list of our premium members, and she's going to look up and see who that is. Ready? I'm ready. What's the name on the one seventy-one? One seventy-one is Vince Guess. Vince Guess. Spell that for me, Vince. G G Vince G U E S S. Just like it sounds, Vince Guess. Hold G it up, Vince Guess. Let me get. Find there. One, Number one seventy one, right there in the middle of the page. Vince Guess. So congratulations, Vince. Yeah, I don't Vince, know where all right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put this back in. No. There. No. 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 Vicky said no, so it don't go back in. Put it in your pocket. Or not. Okay. You don't all have right. To. <laughs> put it in his pocket. Okay. Yeah. Vince Guess, congratulations. I don't. Yeah. I really don't know where Vince lives, but wherever sure. it is, we'll we're going to be shipping that thing on. Uh, well, Monday's the holiday, yeah, we'll, so we'll be shipping we'll it on do Tuesday. That and ship it out to you, and uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a new base with new batteries, and it's going to have a remote control. I didn't show that, but it's going to have a remote control. And a little power cord if you want to plug it into your computer. <clears throat> All right, so we got about well, we got about 20 minutes for a Q&A. If you guys have any questions, we're getting set here. You want that brush, Dad? You want to brush that thing off? This is called cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> the flannel, it sticks. Yeah, it does. All right. Here we go. Good job, Ryan. Thank yeah, you. Good, 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 good. Yes. That was a nice training session. We like to have uh, some, Randy, some sort Randy of a little... No Randy Noble says he knows Vince. He lives in Albany, Missouri. Sweet. Oh. Randy so. Noble? Or Randy Noble? Randy Noble says, I know him, Vin uh, oh. Vince. He's cool. a good guy. He lives in Albany, Noble. So. Excellent. Well, I hope he's watching, but whether he is or not, he won. Yeah. He'll be able to watch all this on YouTube uh, later on, if you know. Okay. But hopefully by the end of the weekend, I'll have this on YouTube. Okay, so That's what our hope is. All right. I'm throwing all the sawdust up my way. Uh oh, the sawdust. The uh, director's got sawdust <laughs> in her eyes. Not stars, but sawdust. Okay. All right. Do you see any? Uh, uh, oh yeah. Okay. Instead yeah, of sawdust makes me happy, she has a shirt that says sawdust makes my eyes blur. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> sawdust make, get, makes, well, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So we have questions you say. Well, yeah. Hold on. i got to go way, 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 way. 
So anybody that has, if you're seeing this on Sorry. YouTube and you haven't subscribed, we would love for you to be sure and click I'm that gonna, bell I'm, icon. I'm going to name some of the people that are here just yeah. because Greg okay. Bybee, Amy Roten, Hi, Mark baby. Dugan, uh, let's see, Aunt Mary, Mary Bordenkircher, uh, Deborah Oceanbein, Brad and Aunt Diana. Aunt Mary's watching us? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Brad and Diana in Australia, Tom Watson, um, Randy Noble, Leo Martin, Kent Cogan. I'm looking at for questions as I wonder what time it is in Australia. Steve Nash. It's the evening. It's evening. Jeff time Vaughn, right. Ted Scholes, PD Scholes. Ted Scholes. I think he just became he a just premium became member. Like, like, like this, this morning. morning. Yeah, thank uh, you. Tim thank you, Todd. Lechenberg. It's Todd, I think. Well, it just says TD. Yeah, so. yeah I think it's Todd. Good morning from Wyoming from Tim, uh, William Evans, Lester Taylor, Georgia. Uh, let's see. Dan Allison, I'm looking for questions. Mark okay. Stallings in Missouri. Chester Smith in Lathrop, California. Lathrop, California. Oh, so he, he, put, he yeah. uh, commented the other day, yeah. Rocky Warsham. Do you know him? Um, I, no, I don't know him, but you know. Oh, you know where Lathrop is. Yeah, no. I know where William Evans in. It was actually, wasn't there a Chester Smith that was an old country music singer? Like uh, in country music, like way, Wales. way back? Morning, morning. Well, the name sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm I was thinking there was a Chester Smith. He was involved in country music. I don't know if he was a singer, but there was a Chester Smith involved in country music. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm not sure if this is similar. This, this, the format's changed, so it's kind of not as easy to put through. Okay. So he's canceled that. I don't know what that is. Um, okay. Gosh. I'm looking. All right. Somebody did ask if you uh, were, had put a sanding sealer on your pine. No, on this particular piece of pine, I did not put sanding sealer. Most of the time I do, uh, but this one I, uh, well, actually, did we carve? Oh, yeah, we carved pine on that. That was one that I had uh, done some layout on, so I had sanded it off, and I didn't re uh, put sanding sealer and on. And the sanding, most of sanding sealer is just to, to keep the, the, the layout uh, ink from from soaking into the grain then it wouldn't send out sanding sealer is just to, to prevent that happening do yeah. you guys use the uh the brush on or the spray sanding sealer i use my critter gun to, to oh, spray okay. it on yeah okay yeah i, I, I you can you yet. can use brush on i've used brush on so do we have yeah. questions i'm oh. finding them phone's ringing well, it'll ring it'll the uh, uh the premium pine the select pine, yeah. Right. Is yeah. that, uh, does that stuff bleed like a, a pine fence board would, or is yeah, it not it, as it bad? still bleeds. No, is I it? don't think it bleeds as bad as the, um, as the cheaper or the, 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 the white down, board. the white board, which is a downgrade oh, yeah. from the pine. I don't think it bleeds as bad as that does. Okay. But, Question. Uh, yeah. Uh, John Pass, Terry Passateri? Yeah. Something like that. Sorry if I messed that up. Um, he, he said he noticed that um, when you did that layout, you used the primer instead of the marsh ink. It's ink it. I find John that it pretty much works the same. Uh, I like the ink. Um, if if I was going to pick one over the other, I would probably uh, on the pine. I probably would use the ink first. It's a little more expensive, but I would use the ink first only because of the nozzle. Dad, can you uh, hand me that a can of ink over there? And why I say that is this is the primer and this is the nozzle that comes on the primer. This comes out sometimes, especially if it's warm outside, this comes out like a fire hose, really comes out heavy. Whereas this is much easier to control. So if I was using pine, something that has ten a tendency to bleed, I would probably pick the ink over, th over this, especially if it's warm outside. I don't always do that. Obviously, I laid this out with the primer. But they work pretty much identical for me um, as far as the, the bleeding aspect, the sanding, everything. Now, again, for new people, I don't use the, the paint slash primer, only primer. If it has paint in it, it'll tend to bleed on you, gum up your belts, and give you issues. And on both, both the primer and the ink, remember, you don't need to spray heavy. You don't need to puddle that stuff up on the wood. All you need is just, no matter whether it's for the sign or for the layout, just light spray is all you need. Don't spray heavy. With me, I use the primer because I have a hard time getting the marsh ink 
I'd have to order a case of it, and that gets well. But this is that's a good point. This is right down the street at Ace. They yeah, started yeah. selling this, and it's like three forty nine a can. Yeah, or that's, something. A, that's a good point. Your marsh ink will cost you probably around five or six bucks a can. Yeah, it's over five. And and you need to order it online. It's almost impossible to find in a store. Or with the primer, you can just walk in off to Walmart or a paint store yeah. and pick it up. So yeah. uh, that's a that's a big advantage in the primer. It's cheaper. Okay, it's cheaper. It's yeah. cheaper and easily yeah. to, easier. It's to less get. than four bucks a can, and the ink will almost always cost you over five bucks a can. Sometimes six. Matthew Fur Pure Pure. I don't know how to say that. Sorry, Pure. Matthew. Um, says, do you have any recommendations on where to get the spiral bit sharpened, or can you sharpen it? We cannot sharpen the spiral. That's the only bit that we have that we do not sharpen. Um, you can take them to, uh, well, that's a question for Dad. <laughs> well, the fact is I can sharpen them, but I don't. Uh, spiral bits necessarily need to be machine sharpened. Uh, the other bits are <clears throat> have all straight flutes on them. They're not, they don't have the curve that the spiral bit has. Uh, for years and years, I've sharpened spiral bits by hand, but I was a machinist, and I took courses in tool engineering technology. In order to be good, good enough bit sharpeners to sharpen a spiral bit, you need to have a lot of practice. Uh, and I just, <clears throat> I just don't do it. Uh, simply because you never get one bit exactly the same as the other if you're doing it freehand. They need to be machine sharpened so they're both exactly the same. Uh, otherwise, you're just uh, you're not getting a good cut. So I just don't sharpen. So where, where <coughs> if it's for my use, I'd sharpen it, but I wouldn't do it for somebody else. So where where do you suggest he goes to get it sharpened? Uh, that's a good question. That's why he asked it. Uh, I, I'd suggest going to a machine shop. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if you get a machine shop in your high school, the teacher can probably sharpen it. But look and <clears throat> do a search in, in your phone book for do they make those anymore? machine tool grinding. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's <laughs> tough. It's tough to find somebody that can sharpen machine tools for you. But generally <clears throat> speaking, if they take it to a place that sharpens saw blades, and they sharpen saw blades. If they can't do it, they might have somebody that they work with that they can send it out and have it done, like uh, like our uh, place. Yeah, there's, there's a, place, a couple of places in Las Vegas that'll do it. Yeah, but that's something you just have to look for. Depends on where you are. You may have to send it to somebody that does it. But so machine Google. sharpening yeah. is the only way to do it on on spiral bits. So Google uh, router bit sharpening. Yeah, router bit sharpening with a Google search. That should find you somebody that'll do it for you. All right. What's so funny back there? Mom's <laughs> losing it. <laughs> She's losing it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Vicky's got the giggles. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Oh, she's turning red. <laughs> she's losing it. Gone. you got to read. Get those I'm tears crying. out of your eyes. Somebody says you better get Ryan to the doctor for that bathroom problem. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Deborah says Kim's there, too. Hi, Kim. That's Deborah's uh, husband. A male named Kim. I, know I figured as yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Saying. I don't jump yeah. to conclusions. You know. All right, Darren Lindsay says, Eric, on my round sign that I'm doing, I'm going uh, to finish it with the Krylon Crystal Clear. I shouldn't have any problem putting that on one shot before I finish, right? Or put the, over the one shot. Paint. No, actually, you can put the one shot and then put the Crystal Clear over the top. I, I don't even think. You, yeah, and I've done that. Actually, I did an experiment. And I did a video on it. I can't remember what video it is. The Crystal Clear is not like the Helmsman where it has an amber color to it, so it won't turn your white yellowish. So you can put your one shot on and then put your Crystal Clear over the top of it. Yes, you can. Now, I would, again, I would suggest if it's going outside, Darren, if this sign is going outside, I wouldn't use Crystal Clear. I would use the Helmsman Spar, and if you're doing that, then you want to put, and if there's white paint, you want to put that on top of the Helmsman. Otherwise, the Helmsman will turn that uh, white yellow if, if it's over the top of white. Okay. Whew. 
Michelle. That was all one breath. Okay. That was pretty good. Michelle, That's... Scar, and Mich Scar and Tino. Tino. Sorry, I'm... I think she's down in uh, Texas. Hi, I'm Michelle. Not sure. She says sometimes sparks fly up from the wood when I'm routing and leave burn marks on my bits. Is that because of, of the old pallet wood I use, <laughs> or am I routing too deep? Yes. Sure. Yeah, that old pallet wood has got sand in it. It's got rocks in it. <laughs> So you can't, you might not be able to see them, but that's going to really do a job on your on your router bins. So if you guys are carving old uh, used material, what they call repurposed, um, make sure, man, you want to try and get as much of that sand and rocks out of there. Because if you hit it with your carbide, your carbide's got notches in it now. Well, you and look you, at your you bits. find the same thing. Surprisingly, you find the same thing in some woods. Philippine mahogany, for instance, it grows in a swampy area literally will suck sand up along with the water into the wood uh, and it'll throw sparks when you're carving which is, yeah. which is really strange but, teak uh, teak does that you did teak, that with teak cotton, will do, yeah. cottonwood you did that with once and cottonwood and does the same yeah. thing cottonwood is super hard oh God. try not to carve cottonwood it's really tough wood yeah, yeah. but so that's but the there are woods it'll do, but but especially pallet wood it simply means that there's there's sand in there, uh, in, down in the grooves. <clears throat> that's why. So that's why you're getting sparks. All right, Rick. And Hirsch. of course, maybe nails too. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Rick Hurst. I'm not quite sure what this is. It says on my that I set you were plunge routing. Clean it up. Rick. Uh, is he typing in Morse code? I think Rick. he's trying to type fast and not get. He's missing. <laughs> okay. Stuff. Okay, so he's asking about plunge base. Or, um, I don't use a plunge base. I'm not sure what you're asking, Rick. Did he I, send you some pictures or something? Uh, he might have. I apologize, Rick. I get about 30, 40 emails a day that but <laughs> I have if, to answer. If, if you're asking about a plunge base router for, sand, for carving, uh, don't use it. Uh, it's all right for cutting stuff out, for cutting shapes. Plunge base is great. But for carving, you just don't have the control that you need. So I, I don't recommend using plunge at all, all if right. that's what you're asking. Stephen from Vicky, have you made that guy mud flap template? No, and I won't. I don't want to make that. The 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 trucker girl. girl was made long before um, I came around doing the templates, but I'm not going to make a oh guy trucker mud, guy. Yeah, no. I think I saw something on that yeah. somewhere. Uh, Toby Tobias, what's yeah. the purpose of sanding sealer? Sanding sealer, um, that is, I use sanding sealer only on pine uh, or I'm, any light And this wood. is going to kind of blend in its bite pieces, so sanding sealer doesn't prevent cupping and warping. No, sand, well, actually, I will take that back. If you're in an area that's got a lot of moisture on it, sanding sealer will seal up that board, be sure, and... You want to put the sanding sealer, uh, when you're putting sanding sealer on, put it on both surfaces and especially on the end. So if you put sanding sealer on the end of your boards when you first get them, if your board has a tendency to cup, that will help uh, in the cupping and the warping. So put sanding sealer all over it um, and that will help that. I use sanding sealer, we're in a very dry climate most of the time here in Arizona. So I use sanding sealer mostly to keep the black from bleeding into the to the grain of the board. But sanding sealer will kind of seal up the end of the board and help prevent cupping and warping. Yes. Okay, hold up. We're going to do another drawing for another premium member. What? Yeah. Another Ryan, drawing? I want you to draw it this time. Okay. So that came we're out We're going to be giving away... An inch and a half uh, Bookman's set. Inch and a half layout letters, a set of Bookman, inch and a half tall. Bookman font? Take it up, Brian. Bookman font, yes. I don't have these. You don't have those? You don't have yeah. those? Well, you're not, you're not a premium member. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. All right. It's, uh, let's see, number 182. Wow. That's right down from right Vince. Down from, uh, Let's see. Should I have done that like no, on here so nobody fine. thinks I'm cheating? No, that's all right. Larry Dannett. Larry Dannett. Larry Dannett. I think I, that's I, I, we've it. shipped stuff to Larry before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, when I saw his name, I go, Dannett, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Hold it up. <laughs> I knew that was coming. All right. I'm sure he probably got that all. What was it? Yeah. 180, um, 182. 182. 182. 
Kind of like when people would Larry call Gibbons. us, they call us rotten. Yeah. 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 Or R-O-U-S's? Rotens of unusual sizes? That's, you know what? Nobody knows that movie well, anymore. Yeah. I know. Dad Which is sad. Dad doesn't. He's never watched the Princess, Princess Bride. You've never seen Princess Bride? No. Oh, my God. He started, he started watching it one day because okay. I, like, forced him into it, and he turned it off. He got okay. Yeah, yeah, I have to do it left-handed. Like... I use my right. <laughs> it's over too quickly. Quick. I love that movie. <laughs> you seem like a nice fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem like a nice fellow. I hate to die. <laughs> we could go on and on. <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> That's a great movie. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> The key to watching that, Dave, is to watch it with them. Oh, man. <laughs> it is awesome. the best. Yeah, the best it's, movie. It's awesome. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. All right. Okay. So, we digress. Hold on. Yeah. You think? <laughs> All right. I'm focusing in here. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's I wish you and Amy would move closer. God, I miss having you over here. I know. I got to get out of California. Okay. Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like a good country song. I got to leave California. I'm going to write a song. You should write a song. Uh, okay. Why do you look? It was a uh, bad question, evidently. Uh, Vicky is scrolling through questions right yes, now I'm on sorry. Facebook. We, we only got a few We're sitting here looking stupid. Dan Yotis says, Dan Yotis. Uh, Eric must have had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Yotis, he's my my internet guy. He's the guy that helped me set up that I give him a Oh, from out. New York? Yeah, oh, from New wow. York, yeah. Good job, right, Dan. He comes out to Vegas every uh, once every year. Tino Figueroa yeah. says, Dave, how about creating a router base with a dust port? Say what? He wants to know about a router base with a dust port. With a dust board? I don't port. know. Port. 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 Dust port. port. Like a manifold to hook up a hose to it. A dust hmm. hose to it. No. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> number one. Next question. Number one, I wouldn't use it. So I won't make it. Uh, I don't like anything attached to my router router base <laughs> except my hands and a cord. Uh, and <clears throat> occasionally, without a cord, if you use a cordless router. But I don't like any kind, anything attached to the base of that router that interferes with my carving. So okay, I won't fine. make one. Sorry about that, Tino. <laughs> Greg Bybee says, "Can you use Czar Poly for the outside, for the outside side to keep the letters white without an amber color?" Yes, yes. Czar is just like the Czar is what I I like Czar better than than Helmsman actually, um, and it is clear, kind of like the crystal clear. So yes, you can put that over the top of any colors that you put on. You can put the Czar uh, polyurethane over the top of it. Yep. That's good stuff. It is really good stuff. I spray it with my critter. Toby wants to know, if folks attend your on-site training sessions, which we don't have. Well, we don't. Um, not, well, not currently. Not, well, Yeah. I'm not sure if maybe he means when people stop by. Oh, okay. Um, can they bring their bits with them to sharpen? Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's, we don't have on-site training. We have people that call and say, you know what, I'm in the area, I'm going through. Yeah. Can I stop by? So, so I we think did, that what about your seminar, didn't you? Well, we well, did a was, seminar, but that was a couple years ago, and we may be doing another one in the future. We don't have one planned yeah. right now. Oh, okay. But yeah, if you're in the area and you, and you want to come by, we'd love for you to come by, and if you brought, got your bits with you, um, bring them. We'll sharpen them. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll sharpen them. We'll teach you how to oh, sharpen them. Vicky Myers was online. Vicky Myers. Yeah. No kidding. I, I don't know if you're still there. Familiar. Vicky Myers. That's, that's um, Lori uh, Delage's, Lori Delage's sister. sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, Vicky. I haven't seen you in like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, oh, Larry Dannett says thank you. Ah, oh, congratulations, oh, Larry. Larry. Awesome. We'll be shipping that out. Oh, let's see. Tomorrow. Yeah, no, we're, we're, you didn't put the thing back in there, did you? No. I, no, we've got I'm not, it. I'm talking about Ryan. What would you do with the I might thing? have. It was yeah, I don't know. Did. So it doesn't matter. No? You don't think so? I'll check. Well, maybe we did. Randy Noble says you guys we'll are having it. way too much fun. <laughs> this is, <laughs> yeah, my, this is life. That's what we do. That's what we do. We uh, just... Tino says, mean old man. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Tino. Bingo. Dan, <laughs> Dan says, Dave, you rock. 
Dan denk ik, denk ik, denk ik. Dan who? Dan uh, Dan Yodis. Oh. Al, Dan, Dana Alice says, Ryan, what is it like to have your have YouTube stars for parents? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well. Um, Come on, son. I, yeah. I want to hear this too. Do do? I'm, I'm just waiting for uh, somebody to be like, do you know the rotents? Are you related to Eric and Dave and Vicky? It hasn't <laughs> happened yet, but it's pretty awesome. But just having this group of family together is, is awesome. Well, just project yourself 50 years into the future. You'll be sitting here and, you know, you want to have somebody over there and you'll have a grandson sitting here. So it's just, this whole thing started 60, 70 years ago. Just sort of by accident, so this is what it's grown into. Yeah. Andy Littleton says, what's the website you get pictures off of for your carving? Google. Google Just Google images. it or <coughs> Vectorstock.com. Yeah, Vectorstock.com is something that we subscribe to. It's like, I don't know, you, buy, you pay a dollar per image and uh, they've got a lot of cool stuff on there, Thousands and, and none Thousands. of it, none of it has watermarks on it. So none of it is protected. It's all if you if you buy, uh, you, you know, like you put twenty five dollars in your account, then you've got twenty five, basically twenty five images that you can pull off of there. Vectorstock.com is really cool. We're gone. We've gone over. Uh, yeah, I know. Is Vector? Is it twenty? So can you use it once you buy an image? Can you use it over and over and over? Oh, it's oh, yours yeah. Once you oh, buy it, it's yours. Oh yeah. Yeah, you download it, and it's, it's yours personal for or personal, yeah. whatever it does. It's cool. only a dollar. It's, it's absolutely the best bargain on the internet, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. You just put like twenty dollars on your account, you can buy twenty images. Some of them are more. Some of them are two or three points because you buy. It's a one point per dollar. Yeah. So you might get, um, you know, some once in a while you might find one that's two points, but. Yeah. But you might but have it's cheap. you might have ten yeah. images on that one that's that true. you download. That yeah. You might be, it might be a block images. of images. Oh, okay. You, you, you yeah. would have a, a you like a frame with a block of images. So that you just maybe they're flowers or something. Edit it. And there's 20 of them in that one for that one. Uh, All right, boys. Right, check it out. All right, we're over. We gotta. We yeah, gotta, we're. We gotta over. sign off. So. <laughs> All right. That so, was a fast. Dan, hour. thank that you so much really for the help. Quick. I hope from what everybody says, there were one or two that said it was in and out, oh, but man. one guy said he's in a snowstorm. So thank you, Dan, later. again for making my life uh, happier. Since Vicky is not <laughs> when, when Mom is happy, everybody's yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this will be hopefully on YouTube by the end of the weekend, and then we've got another video coming up on Monday. I'm going to answer this really quick. Okay. Holly D. and Wiggins, yeah. how do you transfer the images to the board? Go to the YouTube channel, Old Dave 100, go to the little search engine box, and type in transfers. There's also a playlist called Transfer Process, where there's a bunch of videos in there. That's what so, I meant. Oh, but you said put in the... Uh, anyway, but, but there's a, a, a whole playlist. So there's a playlist called Transfer Process. Tons of videos in there. Okay. I love this. Love it. I, I, great. I can't see this though. Uh -huh. I'm sure people can oh, use their imagination. Oh. All right. You should see right. that in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> we need a mirror back yeah. there. Let's see all my facial expressions. Okay. All right. Say good night, Gracie. Good, good night, you Gracie. guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. And we'll see you on the Bye next LGS. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.